Well, we got a little bit of a late start this morning, um, but we're heading to breakfast right now. We had a little change of plans. We, first, we were gonna go into town today, uh, spend the day, and kind of have some relaxing time by the pool tomorrow, but we gave it a little thought and decided to change it up because Saturday is the day that they do a lot of changes at the resort um, with people checking in and out and things like that. So we thought today might be the better day to lay by the pool. It might be a little quieter today. So we're gonna hang out at the pool today, hang around the resort, check out the property some more, and then we're gonna head into town tomorrow morning and spend a good part of the day in town tomorrow. So come on along with us and let's go have some breakfast and get this day going. We hit up the buffet for breakfast. Um, nice little selection, all the usual stuff. It kind of reminded me of being on a cruise, the way the food was laid out, and pancakes, and hash browns, and waffles, and all that other kind of stuff. But of course, it had a little bit of a Mexican flair. I loaded up on some non-traditional food. Uh, Sharon and Matthew both, looks like they both tackled some good looking waffles. We're gonna dig in here and uh, fill up our bellies and then try to head over to the pool. Is that right, Sharon? We're gonna spend the day at the pool, kind of hanging out, then we'll kind of see where the day takes us. We're on vacation, we're flexible, and having a good time. Enjoying my waffles here. The breakfast is really good. Um, it's kind of a buffet setup, as you probably already saw, um, but it's it's great. And we have the best view ever. We're right on the beach. I am really enjoying this. The water looks so beautiful this morning. Uh, one thing, you know, in the Riviera Maya, Playa del Carmen area, it's kind of known for a lot of seaweed on the beach most of the most of the year. We got really lucky. There's hardly any seaweed right now. The water is clear, bluish green, just gorgeous. What a view we have for breakfast. Take a look, it is awesome. So you saw us come here uh, in, in, in our last video and we got towels and I'm here getting some towels for us again. But it's the sports desk and they also have a lot of other cool things too. Uh, stuff that you can do here. Uh, you, this is where you're gonna rent your kayaks. Uh, you can get set up to play cornhole or, or table tennis. Uh, they rent golf clubs here because there's a golf course adjacent to the resort here. Um, bikes, table games, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, you can get bikes and go out and ride around if you want to uh, into town. So that's a pretty neat deal. I don't know if we're gonna go that route because I'm not sure that a bike ride, the bike ride into town might be cool, but coming back from town after some margaritas and tequila, that could be an issue for, for this guy. So uh, I don't think we're gonna do that, but uh, pretty awesome. They have this stuff available for you right here. Super easy, you get your towels, you go lay out, you come back, you dump off your towels, easy peasy. So you do not need to bring towels to the resort. Matthew, how's that pool feeling? Good. That's it, you're all full of one word answers. Yep. 
Yeah, gonna get a little margarita. I felt like so full from breakfast, but yeah. I can smell the pizza behind me starting to fire up. So good. Yes, we will definitely be eating some pizza in a little bit. And I know somebody else is gonna want some pizza. Yeah. That guy. There's Raimondo. Thank you, sir. Oh, look at that. Oh, hold on, let me get a let me get mine. And let's do a cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers everybody. Yeah. There you go, have a drink. Usually I'm not a lime guy, but I'm feeling limey. A little limey today. <laughs> Hello, I'm a limey. Wait, that's not a, that's, isn't that a bad word in, yeah. in Britain? Yeah. I don't know. My bad. I yeah. apologize. You, you need to have a um, Mexican accent, Matthew, or Matthew. Jamie. Oh my God, I've already. Oh my gosh, names. is that your first drink of the day? You're calling me Matthew. <laughs> it is. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> Like a combination lemon lime. Look at that. Ooh. It's green and yellow. Oh my god, it even looks the inside even looks yellow on one side and green on the other. You're crazy. You're crazy. It's a girl. lime. It's a lime. One great thing about laying by the pool here at the Royal Hacienda is you can order drinks, you can even order your food. So they have pizza. We ordered some pizza. So we have pizza coming, we have more drinks coming, and we don't even have to get up. So that is awesome. What a way to relax. So if I'm being honest, I totally forgot the name of this pizza, but it's a special pizza of the day. And when he told me about it, he was telling me, you know, it's got some different types of meat on there and stuff like that. And, um, what? Pastor. Past oh, yes. Matthew, great job. It's a pastor pizza, he called it. Uh, so I got it, and I'm like, that looks amazing. And then a closer look, I was like, wait, what the heck? There's pineapple on that pizza. Poo-poo, poo -poo, poo -poo, the pineapple. But I'm going to eat it because... I'm never turning down a good slice of pizza. I mean, let's be real. There's Matthew over there woofing down a little pepperoni, pepperoni pizza for him. I can't see what do you got there, Sharon? I have chips and guac. Oh man, that's a good looking guac right there with some pico on there. Yeah, look at that. Oh boy, and the chips. Yep, and a fresh margarita on the way. You're Yummy. living the dream right now. You're living the dream, aren't that's you? That's great, perfect. <laughs> It looks like it's fun time in the pool. They're doing some um, pool Olympics kind of a fun event there. And Sharon looked at me and said, why don't you go get involved in that? And I looked at her and I said, Sharon, we've been married for 19 years now. I can say that because it was just our anniversary. So we've been married for 19 years. When have I ever gone into the pool for any pool Olympics? I am a watcher, not a doer. Let me know in the comments below, are you more of a watcher or are you a doer when it comes to activities? Whether it's at the pool, at a resort, uh, on the Lido deck, on the cruise, uh, where do you fall in that category? Watcher or doer? Let me know. Throw it in the comments below the video and say hi. So here's something brand new with the preparation for everything going on right now with travels back to the U.S. and a negative COVID-19 test right here at Royal Haciendas. And I'm going to assume it's probably all the resorts, but I know it's at Royal Haciendas. Right here, there is a sign saying COVID-19 testing on site, results within 24 to 36 hours, $100 per person. So um, you can ask about this here at the facility and there is a QR code to scan for information. And you can have your test right here for your travels back to the US if you're staying here at the Royal Haciendas. Uh oh guys, looks like there's a fierce uh, table tennis match about to start right here at the uh, Royal Haciendas. We're done with the pool. We turned in our towels, but we turned them in for paddles and balls. Well, a ball. Single, just one ball. One ball. And uh, it's time to play a little game. Are you ready? Let's get ready to play some ping pong.
Sharon, what do you got there, girl? Room service has arrived. We needed an afternoon snack. We really didn't have a full lunch, so we're gonna have something here um, to hold us over till dinner. So Matthew ordered a cheese quesadilla. Mm. It's pretty tasty. All right, Matthew, let's come see. and get it. Right, let's see what else we have. We'll get a better shot of that. <gasps> oh, Jamie, what did you got the fish? Um, oh, fish yes. sandwich. Fish I think sandwich. That, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. I'm keeping it light because I want to pig out at dinner. So I, ooh, that looks that looks pretty tasty. Wow. So I, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's so much light that it's <laughs> overexposing. I got the Caesar salad. There we go. That's a better look at it. That's a good look. That's a good looking Caesar right there. It is. But now look what I have to go with my Caesar salad. Okay, because you're keeping it light. I'm keeping it light Hold with on. the... <laughs> yes, make a note of that, guys. Pay attention. Sharon just said she's keeping it light. Keeping it light. Okay, but please, go on. Look at what I have to go with my Caesar salad. Ta-da! Chocolate oh. cake. Is that the keep it light part right yes. there? Yes. So I would rather have the... Instead of having a big old sandwich and stuff, I'd rather have the chocolate cake and the Caesar salad. So we actually got two chocolate cakes. Matthew's gonna have one as well. And got a couple of milks for Matthew to rinse down that chocolate cake. So there you go. Very nice. That's gonna hold us over till dinner. Well, we, we really, I mean, we really just mellowed out today, didn't we? We did. We, 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 we got down to the pool. We changed up a few things. We talked about maybe going into town later today, you know, this afternoon. That got shot. We spent about five hours just down chilling out the pool and it was amazing. Some of the best relaxation I think I've had in a long, long time. And one thing about, we love about having the whole kitchen thing is, we forgot about this at room service the other morning with breakfast, but you know, when room service comes, a lot of times it's not always the hottest because you know, they have to carry it all the way to your room. But we have a microwave, so I'm gonna warm these up just for a few seconds to mm. just make them perfect. What an idea, what an idea. All right, so that's it. We're going to pig out, and um, I don't know what the rest of the night's going to bring. We're going to chill for a little bit here in the room. Uh, Sharon swears she's going to get back in the hot tub later, so we'll see if that happens. Tonight. It's too Tonight, hot. at some point. It's too hot out there right now. It is hot as high knees outside on the balcony. So uh, um, it is Mexican uh, fiesta night here at the resort for oh, dinner. Oh, and they have a and, movie screen out there, too. Oh, there's a movie screen being set up. There might be a movie playing. I'm not really sure. Oh, someone's at the door. Who could that be? Oh. Oh, yes, thank you, sir. Oh, listen, you're just in time. Here's the most popular guy on the resort. He's the one that puts the drinks back in the refrigerator. Everyone loves him. Thank you, buddy. Well, we finally made it out of the room after an amazing, you know, I, I say, yeah, I say we finally made it out of the room because after we got done with, uh, with the pool this afternoon, uh, we went back to the room. We had a little. We're on fire. Uh, we had a little uh, uh, food, you know, a little room service and we may have taken a little nap and now it's about eight o'clock at night and we're heading out to get some food right now it's crazy definitely a late start on the evening but you know what that means we can just stay up later right guys that's right mm -hmm. that's, that's right. right so uh yes we are very red and shiny right and, now and we put on 70 sunscreen so don't yell at us for not using sunscreen we had a lot of sunscreen on and it, what's weird is the rest of our body really didn't get as sunburned but our faces are just like red roasted yeah we are definitely roasted. So I think we got most of it in the pool because um, I, that's when I had my sunglasses on and I have the big raccoon eyes from You do. From that. <laughs> You're looking <laughs> so. a little, I'm gonna call you Rocky for the rest of the trip here, Rocky Raccoon. So um, oh, where can we go? We can just cut right down here, can't we? Oh, oh my oh, gosh, it just dark. got pretty dark. So, okay. all right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna grab a little dinner right now and check it out. Um, it's Mexican night at the La Palapa mm. uh, restaurant. Nothing fancy. Uh, we just want to fill our bellies and see where the night brings us. Yeah. We we'll probably mope around the uh, mope around, walk around the <laughs> mope around. Probably mope around, mope. Little, mope, mope, mope. We're gonna walk around the resort a little, check out some stuff that we haven't seen yet, and uh, we'll see if there's anything cool we'll show you. But come on for now, let's go get some dinner, shall we? Let's go, let's mask up. Mask let's it up. Go to dinner. How you doing, buddy? Let's take a little look. Take one of each. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe? Can Ooh, make? Nice stuff, nice stuff. Well, they had all the shopping uh, being done right here outside of the 
La Palapa del Sol uh, restaurant. So that was kind of cool. Now we're gonna go in here and check it out. Let's do this. Tamale. I love tamales. Got a little taco, um, some guac. I, I love bread and I'm on vacation so I eat a lot of it. So I got some nice little bread here. A churro. Some kind of a fritter. I'm not sure what this is but it looked tasty. Some watermelon and look at these cute little green chips. So that's what I'm eating tonight and I'm sure I'll go back for more after this. Just got a little look at what Sharon is enjoying tonight. And here's what I am having. There's some rice, some pork, some fish, a couple of little rolled tacos, some beans, of course. I need the beans and everyone will appreciate that later. And then over here, I got some fresh made tacos. The, oh, there we go, there we go. So I'm super excited about this food and um, I can't wait to dig in. Oh, and of course to go with it, you know you have to have these two drinks. I got the Modelo beer and um, a shot, and that shot is massive. Oh my god, that is a monster sized shot. I had no idea it was going to be that big. We'll see how that works out. <laughs> well, I asked for a double Jamie. <laughs> wow, I guess so. I am stuffed. I finished just about all my food, everything except for my little fritter here. I didn't finish that. It was, I don't know, a little bland, kind of, but. I enjoyed the churro much more. The only thing I didn't get that I thought about, I might go back and get it. I don't know, they have something called hot chocolate. And at first I was like, ooh, hot chocolate. And Jamie told me, no, that's a soup. And I was like, hot chocolate soup? Never heard of such a thing, but it's, it might be tasty if it tastes like chocolate. So, um, I don't know, I might have to try it. Well, Sharon, uh, let me tell you a little bit about my food. It was fantastic. I enjoyed the heck out of it. I'm just, you know, good Mexican food. Nothing wrong with that. You're in Mexico and, and you know, we eat as the locals do uh, on occasion. So that was fantastic. Uh, Sharon did jump up. She's going to go get some of that hot chocolate soup uh, that she is dying to try. So she can check that out and let you guys know how she likes it. But meanwhile, um, I'm just sitting here having a... Uh, beer and I did get a shot and if you notice this is weird you don't see this too often the shot glass is actually bigger than the beer bigger than the beer unbelievable and uh, I figure maybe somebody knew that it was gonna be my birthday tomorrow and that's why they brought me a monster sized shot glass so I guess I'll do this shot of tequila or double shot or triple shot I'm not sure what it is but it's huge I'll do it with you guys and say cheers and um, uh, you know, we're pretty grateful that we have the opportunity to come down here and, and travel a little bit and, and do it pretty darn safely. We feel great about all the protocols and how they're handling everything here. And we hope that uh, you guys out there get a chance to do the same. We know everybody's been kind of on lockdown for a little bit, and that is a bummer. So uh, uh, hang in there, and hopefully your time will come as well. And you can get out there and do a little traveling, maybe some cruising coming up in 2021. And we'll see how that goes. Oh, I think Sharon's arriving. so. And that was her shadow just coming back in. Oh, we'll see how that looks. Wow, that looks, hold on. 
you need to make some room and I need to do the shot. So cheers everybody. Hot diggity dog, that was great. And now let's check back with Sharon and her hot chocolate soup. So I couldn't resist. I had to go get some of the hot chocolate. Um, now, it smells like cho kind of chocolate, like hot chocolate, but not a strong chocolate. I don't know. I'm gonna taste this. I think Jamie's trying to pull it over on me. He's saying this is soup. I don't know. Let's Let's see. This is hot chocolate, but it's a different kind of hot chocolate. It's a different, it has a, almost like a tinge of like a, a cinnamon or nutmeg or something in it. It's just like, a, in a different, like a cocoa, you know, like a raw, like cocoa. It's just different, but it, <clears throat> Jamie, this is not soup, this is hot chocolate. And you know why I know? Because right next to it, they had another one of these that said it. Um, espresso coffee so it was just next to the soups so this is just hot chocolate Jamie Sharon let me tell you something the server said uh, that they have a lot of soups up there and he mentioned the chocolate when he was talking about the soups and then when you go up there they have all the little containers the metal containers with soup in them and it's right there in line they don't put hot chocolate in next to the soups it's a chocolate soup you're darn right, that's what I'm telling you. Well, I don't know, but I've never had a soup like this. This battle's going to go on all night long. It's going to go on all night long. I've never had a soup like this. I will never give in. But it is tasty, and it tastes just like hot chocolate. Just a different type of a chocolatey flavor than, like a chocolate than soup? what... You know, it's it's not... Okay, it's let me like put it this way. Soup. It's not... It's different than the instant packs of the Hershey's hot cocoa mix that I use at home, okay? This is like the real thing. <laughs> There you go. Hola. This is Diego. He did a great, great job taking care of us tonight. And uh, he even got Matthew hooked up with a cheese quesadilla when some of the other stuff on the buffet was not uh, uh, in, his, in his realm of what he loves to eat. So thank you, man. Great job. Thanks for the great service. Appreciate it. That's another thing about this place. Uh, the people, they've been great. Everyone's friendly, outgoing. They chat, they talk. Uh, they're happy. I mean, I think they're happy that we're here, right? Because if we're not here, they're, you know, they're they're in a little bit of a pickle. Um, so, uh, so so far so good, and and we have definitely taken care of them uh, from a from a, a tipping standpoint. I know that's appreciated too. So, um, you know, we appreciate them and all their hard work. Sharon's finishing up her hot chocolate soup in a cup deal, and uh, we'll see where the rest of the evening takes us. I think we're just about wrapping it up here. Oh, oh, she's got another thing. Here we go. The tortilla soup and the other soup they have up there, they were putting in bowls. The espresso coffee and the hot chocolate soup, as Jamie calls it, were going in cups. So this is definitely just hot chocolate. But like I said, it just tastes a little different than what I'm used to at home. But it's great. It might not go quite good with the margarita, but I'm going to drink it anyways, and then I'll go back to my margarita. Whatever, Sharon. It's soup. Well, Sharon, it's been a pretty uneventful night, and I think we needed that, didn't we? We did. We did. After the uh, awesome day we had at the pool, um, coming back and pigging out on some room service, relaxing a little bit, then going to have a nice Mexican dinner. Guys, I think that that's it. I mean, sometimes it's okay to not have a ton of activities in the day, and tomorrow's going to be a busy one for us, right? It is. We have a lot of things planned tomorrow. We'll see if we can accomplish all of them. <laughs> so. Most importantly, tomorrow the plan is my birthday. Yeah. And, uh, and there's a lot of football to be watched and some uh, beer to be consumed and Oh my gosh, fun so to be had. Um, out by the bar here, by the, the main pool, oh, whoops, my phone flashed up. Um, they put up a big, like, sort of like a TV, not TV screen, almost like a big movie screen. And I did hear that they had movies under the stars here sometimes, so I thought they were maybe putting it up for a movie tonight. You mean like on a Lido deck type yeah, of deal? Yeah, yeah. Very cool. So, um, but no, actually they are putting it up for the football game tomorrow. So that is pretty awesome because it's perfect for us. Jamie can watch the game. It's right by the pizza place where he can have some more fruity oh tomorrow pizza God, on his birthday. Oh my God, I'm dying for more of that Matthew pizza. Matthew can have pizza and I can relax in the sun with a drink by the pool. 
so more it, sun. it's perfect do for we all really this. need any more sun i mean if right i don't now. know if you can tell now <laughs> right. because of the lighting is weird right but now, no. we're glowing red well we're like maybe rock lobsters maybe my i will have my face in an under an umbrella in the shade and the rest of me in the sun <laughs> weird you're so weird because <laughs> my face is the only thing that really got burned so that's the deal so are we wrapping it up we're gonna wrap it up so it's been a fun day we had a great great time um uh, day two is done day three is tomorrow and then day four we're going home so we'll see you in the morning guys good night peace out i'm gonna go climb into my bubbly jacuzzi tub on the balcony oh, nice. and relax very nice